Hey there, Swarmers! Welcome back to The Hive. So we've talked about the Paris Agreement before. It's the International Treaty on Climate Change adopted by 196 parties at COP21 in December of 2015. Its goal is to limit global warming to well below 2, preferably 1.5 degrees Celsius, compared to pre-industrial levels. Today, let's talk about that 1.5 degrees. One concept which confounds many people in discussions around climate change and global warming is that a rise of 1.5 degrees Celsius could actually be significant. Not a day goes by where a normal daily temperature fluctuation isn't higher than that. So it's no wonder that the idea of an average increase of just 1.5 degrees leading to disaster is difficult to come to grips with. Side note. 1 degree of Celsius is the equivalent of 1.8 degrees Fahrenheit, so 1.5 degrees Celsius becomes a 2.7 degrees Fahrenheit rise in average global temperatures. A 2 degrees Celsius rise is the equivalent of a 3.6 degrees Fahrenheit rise. However, since Celsius is the default measurement for scientists, we will stick with it going forward. Over the last 140 years, the average global temperature has already risen by 1 degree Celsius, but two-thirds of that warming has occurred since 1975. We've seen the 20 warmest years on record since 1981, and the warmest five years were between 2014 and 2018. With the current increase, we've already seen huge changes in our environment. More frequent droughts, floods, and extreme weather events like bushfires and hurricanes, upper level ocean temperature rising, sea level rise, and biodiversity loss. We're experiencing reduced ability for agricultural success, and we already have climate refugees. We have seen changes in the patterns of migratory fish, which in turn reduces the numbers of bird life and other ocean creatures who feed on them. We're noticing increases in pests like mosquitoes, ticks, and bark beetles, bringing disease or destruction of forests. If no further increases to anthropogenic GHGs were made, our current trajectory sees us hitting 1.5 degrees Celsius of warming by about 2040. If we are to prevent an overshoot of this, we need to have reduced our GHGs by 45% of 2010 levels by 2030, and be actually net zero GHGs by 2050. What can we expect then from a further average global temperature rise? Nothing good. There are three things to remember to further understand the importance of a 1.5 degrees Celsius temperature rise. Number one, this is the global average across the whole surface of all the land and sea. To actually achieve a rise in the global average, we need to see an immense rise in heat. Very many places will experience local temperatures much, much higher than 1.5 degrees Celsius above average, dangerously hot. And in some places, this has already happened. Number two, there is a very fine balance required for all things on Earth to be successful or to thrive. That includes temperature. The human body is a great example of this. With a very small 2 degrees Celsius rise, we become largely incapable of functionality. Sea turtles are another great example. If the sand where the mother lays her eggs is 31.1 degrees Celsius, all females are born. But if the sand is 27.8 degrees Celsius and lower, all males will hatch. Number three, this reflects a trend. There will be colder days or months and maybe even a colder year or two, but the trend is inarguably an upward trend. These facts are not meant to paralyze us with fear and anxiety, but rather to kick us all into high gear on ensuring global leaders take action. Every one of us has the power to change our own emissions path and hence make a contribution to the bigger picture. But we also have powers to demand systemic change. Email letters, sign petitions, and write to your local officials. Write to your local manufacturing plants to install renewable energies. Protest new coal, oil, and gas power. And always, always, always exercise your right to vote. 
Thank you so much, as always, Swarmers, for joining us. We love you. We hope you stay safe and that you learned something here today. Give us a like and a share, and we will see you next time.